Have you groomed your child to believe in lies? Have you groomed your child to be someone else? See, us as parents, we tend to groom our children at a young age in our ignorance or our lack of knowledge, not knowing something. But then when they get older, become somebody that they're not. We get mad, but we don't want to lay the foundation. When, when they begin to believe lies and deception, whether they get up in religion or tradition, they be, we, we taught them how to believe in lies and deception. And then once they get out of control as they're older, we get mad. But all along, we are the ones who set the foundation. Oh, there's a such thing as Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny. Hmm. The true fairy. Hmm. We begin at a young age to lay a foundation on getting them in ignorance, getting them to believe a lie. Rather than telling them the truth. All oh, because their other friends believe the lie. So we allow them to believe a lie for a minute. And then out of nowhere you want to tell them the truth. But the lie is already embedded. So then you get mad. When they start believing all kind of crazy lies. Religious lies. Because lies, then, then we get mad when they get into certain kind of plantations of slavery. They get locked in slavery. But we groomed them for the slavery, the plantation of lies, believing when they were children. Let's take a look at Halloween. We allowed our kids one day out the year to dress up to be somebody that they're not. <clears throat> Even... The church. We allowed our kids to have Hallelujah Day. You got to have a substitute. We don't want you to feel left out. So dress up like a Bible character. Instead of being themselves. So they get accustomed year in and year out. Dressing up one day out of the year. To be someone else. And as they get older, they become someone else that we as parents don't like. But guess what? We laid the foundation for it. <clears throat> parents, stop lay, laying foundations that you're not going to like later on in life when they get older. See, they tend to stand on what we build. What are you building on? Check yourself as a parent. And if you started a faulty foundation, I challenge you to break it up and relay and admit that you were wrong. Ask for forgiveness. Repent of your false teaching and your false doctrine. But it's just some food for thought.